Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the groundbreaking discovery that water on the moon is native to it, not delivered from elsewhere, thereby reshaping our understanding of the moon's history and its potential to support future lunar missions. Despite its prominent position in the night sky, the moon is a desolate landscape. The surface of Earth's only satellite appears mottled with many impacts from space rocks. But there is water on the moon. While our plans to take an out-of-the-world dip on the lunar swimming pool may need a patient rethink, China's Chang'e 5 lunar has an important thing to tell us. The lunar lander has determined that the water found on the moon is indeed native to the moon. The researchers analyzing lunar samples on Earth have published their findings in paper in Nature Communications and have confirmed the native origin of water on the Moon. Water and hydroxyl have been found in the lunar soil samples taken from Apollo missions. Hydroxyl has one hydrogen atom associated with one oxygen atom. Some theories say that hydroxylion on the Moon are mainly formed due to hydrogen atoms in the solar wind that hits the moon. The research paper said that while one-third of the hydroxyl ions in the sample taken by Chang'e came from solar wind, the rest of the hydroxyl content came from a mineral on the moon called apatite. In other words, water found on the moon is native to the moon. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.